Welcome to the world of Shidokan. Full contact karate. Kickboxing. Grappling. This is why Shidokan is called the triathlon of martial arts. Shidokan, don't even blink. Welcome to the Park West Theater in Chicago for the seventh annual U.S. Shidokan Team USA Championship. I'm Johnny Bellino. My colleague Tom Cerrone and I will be providing the blow-by-blow -blow for tonight's event. But before the action starts, let's review the rules that make Shidokan such an exciting sport. Shidokan is known as the triathlon of martial arts. It consists of three disciplines or phases. The first two rounds is the bare knuckle, full contact karate phase. The main rule in the bare knuckle rounds forbids punching to the face and head. However, you are allowed to kick a knee to the head. Fighters can punch, kick, elbow and knee to the body. Leg kicks are also allowed as long as they are not directly to the knee area. You cannot punch, kick, elbow or knee to the neck, spinal cord or joints. The next two rounds is the kickboxing phase. Fighters down 10 ounce gloves, all rules from the bare knuckle rounds apply, only now fighters can punch to the face. The last two rounds of the triathlon is grappling. Fighters put on five ounce open hand gloves, follow the same rules as in the previous phases, only now fighters are allowed to grapple, meaning they can take the fight to the mat and attempt to force each other to submit or tap out. This is accomplished by using various ground fighting techniques, such as chokes, arm bars, leg or ankle locks, and joint manipulation. Fighters are not allowed to strike once they are on the ground. Now that we understand the rules, how are the fights scored? A fight can end in four ways. By knockout, technical knockout, submission, or decision. Four ringside judges score each round by the 10-point must system. This will determine the winner in the event of a decision. A fighter may be saved by the bell, except for the final round. Looks like we're about to get underway. Let's go to the ring for the start of tonight's event. In the red corner, originally from Thailand, and now fighting out of Indianapolis. Métis, G.D. Pitak. Métis stands 5'5", 155 pounds, and is a former world Muay Thai champion. And in the blue corner, originally from Poland, now living here in Chicago, Tomas Porcel. Porcel at 5'8", 155 pounds, is the former Polish amateur kickboxing champion, and is making his professional debut this evening. Tom, how do you size up these two fighters? Mati, a world champion Thai kickboxer. Tomas Corcel, an excellent kickboxer in his own right. These bare knuckle rounds ought to be interesting. Oh, and the action starts early. A left round kick to the head by Mati, and when Corcel goes down, let's see if he can follow it up and pounce on him. Tomas Corcel getting a standing eight count from referee Pat Giuliano out of New Jersey.